How's it going, goons? It is update day, and version 16 of the college football revamp mod has been released. In this update is the Conference USA, which is the final conference to be completely updated. So while I'm fairly certain there will be more versions in the future, I think we could officially say that NCAA 14 has been completely revamped. There are a few other teams with minor changes, but being a CUSA update, the main teams that we're focusing on in this one are Florida Atlantic, Florida International, Louisiana Tech, Marshall, Middle Tennessee, Old Dominion, Rice, Southern Miss, UAB, UTEP, UTSA, and Western Kentucky. So without any further delay, let's start to take a look at the new uniforms provided in this update. First off is Florida Atlantic. The Owls, uh, right off the bat, you gotta love the helmet uh, with the Florida uh, outline on one side. Maybe something a little bit different on the other side other than just a number, but uh, I, overall, I would say I like it. They have their uh, red helmet as well as the white helmet. And then for jerseys, they have the red jersey, which is pretty solid the navy jersey, and then the white jersey. There aren't any other special ones for the owls. And then for pants, they just have the navy, the white, and the reds. So a decent amount of combinations for the owls, but it's nothing too crazy. You got the red out. Uh, you've probably gotten all navy, so, uh, you know, a decent amount of alternates again, but nothing too over the top. Florida International is next. The Panthers, uh, again, pretty solid. I do like uh, their uniforms for the most part. The uh, the little accents on like the shoulders and then down there, the tiger scratches along the pants are an interesting accent. Uh, maybe a weird location for them to be. Uh, it kind of looks like they're getting their butt scratched, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, helmet wise they have the navy they've got the breast cancer awareness one with the pink which i love when teams do that uh, and then they've got the white helmet they do just have the navy jersey and the white jersey so same thing just different color combinations uh no big design changes there and then for the pants they just have the navy white and gold uh, so again, nothing crazy on a lot of those. I do think I like the gold pants. Mm, nah, maybe I think I like the navy pants more than the gold pants, but, uh, fewer combinations than, uh, Florida Atlantic. They do have the breast cancer awareness socks. Do they have those in the shoes at all? No. So, um, you have a few different combinations that you can throw in, a few alternates, um, but nothing too absurd once again. Louisiana Tech is next up for us. The Bulldogs, uh, again, kind of look like Florida Atlantic to me. Just a simple red, white, and blue. Nothing too crazy going on. And then again, I mean, I guess it is just their logo, but the state outline on the side of the helmet. Uh, I feel like we're getting used to seeing that on a lot of these. <laughs> I, I love them all. Uh, they have the white helmet. They've got the red helmet. They do have a stars and stripes one which is uh, a nice little touch, uh, but not too much different. And then for the jersey, they've got the blue one, they've got the red one, and the white one, so uh, very patriotic. You could pair that Stars and Stripes helmet with any of them. The pants, it's white, blue, and red as well. So um, just like Florida Atlantic, not a crazy amount of uh, combinations or, or different options but it leads to a decent amount of com combinations. Um, so a lot that you can do with it, but again, it's not very out there. Marshall is up next and the Thundering Herd have always had simple uniforms, no exception today. Not a whole lot that's gonna go on with these guys. For the helmet, they've just got the white one, uh, their standard helmet, but then they also have a throwback uh, 75 commemorative one. Um, th that's it though. Jersey wise, it's green and white and black. Um, you do have a change on this one. It's not just a color change. The white and the black say Marshall across the front, whereas the green one says the herd. So, I mean, a little bit of design change up there. So far, CUSA has been 
pretty bland, though, I would say. Pants, it's the white, green, and black. Uh, and again, you're not seeing anything different other than color changes. So, like the other three teams that we've seen so far, you're left with decent alternates, uh, but nothing uh, out there, and not a crazy amount like some of the teams that we've seen updated have. The Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee State are next, and they do a little bit of changing it up. It's not just red, white, and blue. Uh, you know, it's silver and royal blue. Helmet-wise, they do have the white-slash-pewter look, uh, the white and blue, and the black helmet, and the America helmet, which is uh, similar to that Louisiana Tech Stars and Stripes, except this one has that changed stripe down the middle, which is pretty cool. Um, so, decent amount of looks there. I like when a team has a lot of helmets. That makes it very much so that you can change up the combinations. Uh, Jersey-wise, you got the royal blue, You've got the standard white away one. You've got the black one. I like this black one. The silver uh, outlines, I think, are a nice touch on that. So not a crazy amount of jersey options, but paired with the amount of helmet options they have, there's going to be a lot of alternates. Now for pants, there's a lot of options. You have the Pewter Raiders uh, and the Royal Blue Raiders. But if we actually back up here, there's also a White Raider and a Black Raiders pants. Uh, that just, uh, it says Raiders down the side, because then they also have the white pants and the royal blue pants. So, uh, those don't say Raiders down the side, obviously, and the belt color changes a little bit as well. So with all of the uh, helmet and pant options, leads to a lot of different alternates that you can do. All black, all blue, all white, big mix-ups, you throw some pewter in there, uh, just a lot of different options available. We get a little bit royal here as we take a look at Old Dominion. The Monarchs, I think, have a really cool logo. I think their mascot's pretty solid. Let's see how their uniforms look here. Helmet-wise, it's the navy script and the white script helmet. But you also get that navy monarch and the black monarch and the white monarch. Uh, white monarch of the monarch ones is my least favorite one. But I do love the way that it looks. You throw the lion with the crown onto the side. Overall, just a unique helmet, and I think that uh, unique is important when you're trying to stand out on uniforms. Uh, so long as you don't do stuff like the the Michigan State, uh, like neon green ones from a few years back. For the jersey, they've got the navy, the white, and the black. Uh, and then you get a little bit crazy with the Carol Hudson blue there. Um, definitely a big changeup. Kind of looks a little bit like North Carolina, but... Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Simple as that. Uh, pants, white, navy, black, and that Carol Hudson blue are your options. And then just white and black socks. But the amount of helmets and the jerseys and pants, you're going to get a lot of different uh, alternates. You got the back in black, that Carol Hudson blue, uh, the navy, the navy, just a lot to work with. Um, when I scroll through here, it's not showing all of them because I do have them set as like the home team instead of the away team, but you can mix and match so much. Old Dominion, I think, has the most options so far. We will move now to the second Owl mascot team uh, of the conference, which is uh, pretty impressive. There's not a whole lot of Owls in college football. Two of them in the CUSA, and Rice is one of them. Rice has a very simple helmet. Again, you put the rice logo and then there's a texas outline in that helmet <laughs> so uh kind of noticing a theme here uh also conference usa with a lot of usa themed stuff so uh they're really playing into the name uh <laughs> blue and white helmets for rice there's also a gray alternate that you can throw in there as well and will be the same kind of with the jerseys and pants blue and white and gray nothing really groundbreaking there and no uh really different alternates other than just that color change again blue white and gray pants as well so rice looks good with what they have uh but there's not a whole lot of options available to them at least what they have is fairly clean so it's not like it's bad the golden eagles of southern miss are the next one on the list. I really do like Southern Miss's uniforms. I don't know what it is. There's a, some teams that are similar, but 
I think those stand out pretty well. I like the helmet especially. Uh, and speaking of helmets, they've got this black one, but they also have a white one. And again, wow, it's just a simple color change. Uh, it's a pretty solid look. Honestly, kind of looking a little bit like Wyoming right here. Uh, we'll change the jersey though, so they don't look wi like Wyoming. Uh, black jersey. They've got the white jersey and then the gold jersey. And this is just, it's kind of an eyesore, if I'm going to be honest. Very highlighter yellow. Individually, it doesn't necessarily look bad, but with the gold pants, it's a little bit too much. Uh, maybe it'll work if you're just trying to blind your opponents. Uh, <laughs> so to get rid of that, tone it down a little bit. You also have the black and white pants available. Uh, and with this combination, they kind of start to look like Tennessee. But imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So, uh, you know, if you take a, a good look from another team, go opt it as your own, then I guess that you're just doing them favors. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever. The Blazers are next. and These guys have, I think, some of the coolest uniforms in this pack. Their standards are all right. I mean, when you have a, a dragon as a mascot, you're already coming out uh, on top. Uh, so the helmet's pretty solid. I think their standard uniforms are a little bit bland, but uh, it's the alternates where UAB, I think, shines. Uh, so they've got the white helmet and then the children's hospital helmet and the children's hospital stuff is really cool. I love the uh, kind of lime green color on the logo on that one. Um, just stick with that. And then we'll go through the jerseys. You've got a normal green jersey. You've got the normal white jersey. And there's the children's hospital. Again, you throw that kind of lime green color with the gray. And that just looks so, so solid. Uh, pants. It's going to be the same thing. Gold pants. Uh, and then there's also green pants and white pants. And then the children's hospital one. And just as a, as a total uh, alternate, I think these ones are so, so good. Um, there's not a whole lot that compares like when you just completely change from your team colors uh, A lot of teams don't do it. Well, I know that I kind of dogged on Michigan State because what they've done was Similar to this but UAB actually pulled it off and while it's not their standard uniform It's definitely their best and it's up there for the best one in this conference We'll be mining on this next one uh, real OGs will get that reference uh, but we'll head to Texas and specifically El Paso as we take a look at UTEP. Uh, I think UTEP had a, in the base game one of the higher amount of alternates available. So, you know, there's a lot to lift up to there, especially because they're not a great team. So they made a good rebuild school, uh, but a lot to work with still. All orange is the base home uniform, but they have the orange helmet and the white helmet. And then there's also the blue helmet with that pickaxe uh, logo on the side, which is a very, very cool helmet. There's also an orange version of the pickaxe one, and then another orange version of the pickaxe where the pickaxe is white, and then a white version of the pickaxe, and then a throwback helmet, uh, and the I think the throwback one. It's kind of weird to mix it with the modern uh, UTEP stuff, but when you get to the full throwback, it looks pretty solid. Jersey-wise, it's standard orange, standard white, which I really like the shoulders on that. Uh, the multiple stripes looks good for UTEP. And then they've got the blue jersey as well as the throwback, which shows Texas Western, which as far as I'm aware is what UTEP used to be called before they joined like the uh, UT program stuff. I might be completely wrong, but it sounds right, so we'll go with it. Uh, Pants-wise, they have the orange pants and the white pants and the blue pants. Nothing special. They really get crazy with the helmets, but not much else there. And then the throwback pants. So really, what we want to know is what do the full throwbacks look like? They have a lot of good presets, but it's just like kind of like UAB where they just kind of completely change everything. And so it stands out, but uh, I love a good throwback. And these ones, uh, I, I think they're very solid. Obviously, they're simple, but a good throwback doesn't have to be crazy. UTSA having a pretty good season, and the Roadrunners get some new uniforms as well in this update. Uh, just like uh, UTEP, I think UTSA does good uniforms. I love these base ones with the Roadrunner on the shoulder as well as on the helmet. Um, so they've got the blue Roadrunner helmet and the white Roadrunner 1, right, white Roadrunner 2. 
and it's not a crazy difference between these two it's just the face mask but every available uh helmet option that you can get is fantastic they have the blue alternate where it's utsa and then the texas outline which we've come to love from conference usa and that's blue alternate number one because blue alternate number two has an orange stripe down the middle so a lot of options on the helmet here white alternate one and two which again the one and two just changes the colors and then we get back to the original one so seven helmets total for utsa uh definitely going to be a lower amount of jerseys but that's fine they've got their blue jersey the white one still with the road runner on the shoulders and there's also a gray one uh, as their kind of main alternate for pants it's going to be blue uh and gray uh there's an orange and then a white as well so a couple of options there and once again just because of the number of options available the number of alternate options that you have just skyrockets um and i mean blue and orange has always been a solid color and then you throw in the gray uniforms there's a lot to work with and i think the revamp team did a great job uh with this our penultimate team and so now we can take a look at the final team updated in the college football revamp mod western kentucky the hilltoppers they got red grimace and they've got a pretty solid look the helmet says that it's chrome uh it doesn't look great i don't think in this menu but the, a lot of these uniforms and a lot of the shinier and the chrome versions look much better once you get into the game uh so they've got the chrome western kentucky they've got a more standard white one there's the tops outline obviously referencing hilltoppers uh and then one with that outline script filled in as the solid version um different types of helmets i think it would be cool if they had a red one but uh you know the amount of helmets available to be customized in the game is kind of limited and also i don't know if they've ever worn one but western kentucky if you haven't you should wear a red helmet because it would probably look pretty cool at some point uh jerseys they've got their red jersey they've got their white jersey and they've got their black jersey so nothing too spectacular there uh, similar situation with the pants you've got black and red and white um so the helmets are kind of where they take off uh with customization options nothing too absurd you do have uh the cool socks i guess they're a little bit uh different than a lot of other teams it's not just black or white you've got those stripes but uh when it comes to alternates it's not crazy i do like the all red with the chrome lid uh black is pretty solid but it's just a red white and black team you see this so often that i gotta be honest it doesn't really stand out as a spectacular combination for me so now that we're done looking at the cusa stuff i want to know in the comments what you guys think is the best conference usa uniform and overall school uh i think overall school i gotta give it to utep and best overall single uniform is that uab children's hospital alternate but again i'm curious to know uh what your guys's thoughts are on that and there are a couple of other updates now it's not super clear to see the change but tennessee did get updated gloves for this update uh they also got updated smoky gray pants um which again, Tennessee, I think for how uh, typically simple their uniforms are, they do push the envelope just a little bit. And I think they do a good job typically. Love the checker down the side of these ones. Uh, and again, CFB revamp team made them look great. Also in the list of updates, Central Michigan's helmet has been updated. Um, just making it look a little bit more clean. The orange helmet for Bowling Green has been updated. Again, similar to Central Michigan's. And then Kansas has gone ahead and won the lottery and spent all the winnings on helmets. Uh, they have a bajillion of them now. We'll just quickly scroll through them. There's the Blue Jayhawk 1, the Blue Jayhawk 2, the White Jayhawk 1, the White Jayhawk 2, the White Jayhawk 3. Mostly those changes are all just face mask. Uh, there's the hail to old KU, which is uh, up there. It's a cool helmet. Definitely like it. Uh, the World War II helmet, the angry Jayhawk helmet, uh, the blue KU-1, the blue KU-2, the white KU-1, the white KU-2, 
And that's all of them. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm running out of breath saying how many uh, helmets they have. 12 total for those counting. Just absurd. Uh, and it seems like most of them aren't super crazy. I do, though, remember reading on the College Football Revamp Discord something about um, finding a way to add more helmets into the game than was previously thought possible. So there's a good chance that a lot of teams will be getting uh, a bunch of extra helmets. At least that's what we can hope for. As far as team updates go, that is it for this update. There's a few other general updates and tweaks and fixes and whatnot, uh, but nothing major. So unfortunately, that's going to be the end of this update and the end of this video. Again, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the CUSA updates. So leave a comment on that down below. And then if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already and you want to be notified when updates come out or uh, when videos on our Eastern Michigan Grey Boys Dynasty come out. After you've done both of those, you can head down to the description where you'll find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, our community Discord, and of course the College Football Revamp mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to the College Football Revamp team. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.